Another new segment starting this season every Wednesday from the latest sports headlines to all the exciting behind the scenes stories on the sports front. We have an all around sports expert, Pak t i m i n joining us in the studio. Great to have you with us, Jamin. Hey, it's good to be back home. <laughs> as I always mention, I, my name is Jamie Park, and I will be talking about sports every Wednesday mm -hmm. around this time for about 15 minutes. Mm. So even though you never heard about sports, you don't even know what sport <laughs> means. It doesn't matter. Just you know, just try to feel with me. Try to feel the flow, and I'll try to explain how sports is fun. Okay. In real life. I'm I'm sure that a lot of uh, Catch the Wave fans are glad to hear your voice. Are on you air a again. sports person? I, I'm not a sports. Oh yeah, person, I can feel yes. that. <laughs> <laughs> so that was what I'm gonna. That was what I was gonna confess to you. Mm -hmm. I'm not a sports enthusiast, uh, and uh -huh. you've got to lead this segment for me. I'll try to do that. That's okay. my job. So I guess we're going to talk about basketball today. Mm -hmm. uh, Korean basketball, I guess. Yes. When we talk about winter, we always talk about indoor sports. That's why winter is also meant as basketball. Uh huh. So when we talk about basketball, most of the people think as it's outdoor sports mm -hmm. like street ball or mm -hmm. like you know mm -hmm. at the at the hood. But for professional basketball, yeah, professional different. basketball, the origin comes from the indoor sports. That's why basketball is a winter sport. Uh -huh. And we're gonna start off the whole segment with talking about basketball in Korea. We have two professional leagues. Mm -hmm. One is for men. One is for women. Uh -huh. The women's professional league is taught is called WKBL. And the regular season just finished. Oh! And the big news is that we have a champion which won the regular season, and we have never had a new champion champion for the last seven years. Oh, okay. So who is this uh, lucky uh, team? Yes, it's Chungju KB Stars, and this is one of the biggest news around throughout the peninsula right now because mm -hmm. for the last seven years, Uri Bank, uh, Uri Bank. Professional team won the regular season and the playoffs for six straight years, wow. and now we have a new champion for the regular season. Uh huh. So, how did um, KB Stars manage to clinch that uh, trophy this season? Yes. So in Korea, WKBL always celebrates two championships. Mm -hmm. One is for regular season. One is for playoffs. It's not like. Other countries. Do they combine the results, or is it separate? It's separate. Okay. So. In in let's say United States in America mm -hmm. they combine it so uh -huh. they only have rank number one or rank number two right. but in Korea we uh -huh. have regular season champion and then we start off the playoffs and then we have a whole new champion for the playoffs oh so it's then, a brand new start then when does the playoffs begin oh uh, it'll play it will begin in two weeks oh, okay okay so the KB Stars won uh, the Korean championships yeah right? for the regular season okay for the regular season <laughs> yes and the reason why I'm focusing on KB Stars is because Because we have this one player who led the whole team to the championship. Uh huh. Who her is name she? is called Park Ji Soo. Uh -huh. Park Ji Soo, who is in her third year of pro, and the thing is, she began began her national team career when she was only 13 years old. Is that even possible? That was even possible. Oh, that was okay. the youngest player wow. in Korean history. Uh -huh. She joined the the female national Korea team. Adult team in age 15 and now she's leading the whole team not only the whole team the whole country oh. So she is 198 tall mm -hmm. uh, which is about 65 and she's only 20 years old He's still young Very and young. she was picked up by the Las Vegas aces where she made the final roster and her WNBA WNBA debut at age of 19 oh. So the last Korean player who played for WNBA was in 2003. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So she's writing a whole new history for Korean basketball story right now. So sh did she just end her WNBA career uh, after just uh, one year of experience in that uh, field? Yes. Oh, and then she returned to Korea to join mm -hmm. the KB Stars. Yep. So we have a separate season. Uh -huh. So we have a different season. Uh, as soon as WNBA is over, we have WKBL beginning. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So she had a choice to make a vacation, make a make a like a rehab session, or take a rest, or mm -hmm. join the team in Korea. And she made a choice to join the team in Korea, and finally 
Voila, new trophy. Uh, okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, so she's just 19 years old, uh-huh. uh, and I believe she joined the team for the 2018 Jakarta Palembang Asian Games as well. Yes, uh-huh. yes. She won the silver medal, and she was the youngest player of all, among all team, and mm. now she is. A lot of people are expecting her to lead the whole national team. Okay. Uh, and speaking of the Asian Games, let mm-hmm. me jump right into our second topic. I believe that Australia is now set to compete at the event. Yes. So when we talk about Australia, Australia is a continent. Uh-huh. So I- is it? it well, it's, it's kind of tricky, but it is a continent. So like Euro, we have a European <laughs> uh, like championship. We have the Asian championship. We have the America championship. But where does Australia fit for? Uh, I thought it was like part of Oceania. <laughs> Oceania, that, that's true. But there's no Oceania League right, uh, right. to qualify the Olympic Games. Uh-huh. So finally, Australia has become part of the Asian Games starting mm-hmm. from 2022, Asian mm-hmm. Games in China. Mm-hmm. So the biggest issue is because a lot of competitions, a lot of disciplines such as beach volleyball or volleyball, basketball, soccer, and fencing, they qualify through the Asian Games and then they advance, they get the ticket for the Olympic Games. Oh, uh, okay. Most of the Asian Games is a qualifier. Uh. But now we have a strong, the whole new competitor, Australia, oh. which means the top three, the big three countries for Asia, which is Korea, China, and Japan, mm. is facing a whole new challenge. Oh, so if um, Korea, China, or Japan um, doesn't qualify or gets defeated by Australia in the qualification for the Asian Games, that means they have no to uh, lower chances to advance to the Olympics? I would say almost zero. Okay. It is. That's why Asian Games is so important. Mm -hmm. As I said, soccer, basketball, volleyball, beach volleyball, and fencing, Australia will be only competing in these five disciplines. And through these five disciplines, through Asian Games, they get the ticket to the Mm -hmm. final Mm -hmm. Olympic Games Mm -hmm. without without winning... Uh, the Asian Games in these five disciplines, uh, I would say there's almost no chance for Korean or China or Japan or any other Asian teams to qualify for the Olympic <laughs> Games. So that's why Asian Game in Australia, Australia being part of Asian Games is so big issue in the sports street, sports scene mm-hmm. right now mm-hmm. in, okay. in, in the whole Asian con- continent. Oh, well, I'm not sure whether this is good news for any of the Asian countries. Yeah, whoa, whoa, whoa. Sports is a fair play. Right, it's, but, it's a fair game. But competition makes it all the more exciting true. and fun to watch. So mm-hmm. I guess it's a good thing. True, true. Okay. I'll be back with Jevin to continue on with our sports talk after a song break. Here's 걱정 말아요, Don't Worry by Ejok. So Jamin is joining us in the studio for our news, uh, new sports segment. Uh, so we talked about uh, the latest great feat of Changju uh, KV Stars, Australia joining the Asian Games starting 2022, which will make the competition fiercer yep. for other countries here in Asia to win that Olympic ticket. Yep. What's our last topic of the day? Okay, so we talked about basketball and we talked about Australia as part of Asia now. <laughs> and now we're <laughs> going to talk about college sport. Oh. So we're going to move on to Winter University 2019 in Krasnoyarsk. Uh, have you ever heard about Universiad? Universiad, uh, not really. Not really, yeah. Oh. It's, it's kind of a worldwide competition, which is not really familiar Mm-mm-mm. among people. So, so talking about Universiad, it's now on day five. And Universiad is the international sports competitions among students, mm. especially college students. Oh, university students. Yep, so holding under the... Uh, uh, the age of f- fifteen to twenty, not not nineteen to twenty-four. Ah, uh. so it, which means if you're part of college or if you just graduated college, uh-huh. you have, uh, you can participate. For this competition called Universiade. Mm-mm-mm. So Universiade is combined award with university and Olympics. Mm-mm-mm. So Olympic Games, uh, even just a few decades ago, every athlete had uh, they had a like specific age that mm-hmm. they can qualify mm-hmm. for Olympic Games. Right, right. So since uh, the age limit kind of disappeared, uh-huh. University Ad became the only competition for universities, university students who can compete among oh. the same age group. Oh, 
Okay, so、uh-huh. w- if we look at the players、uh, who take part in the university ad, we can get a picture of、uh, the new rookies、uh, in the coming years for the Olympics. Of course, of course. So it's it's. It's not professional sports league, uh-huh, uh-huh. so few of them, few of them are part of the professional league, as we just mentioned about Park Ji Soo or some short track、uh, racers are out、mm-hmm. there. But most of them, starting from age,、uh, making sure seventeen to twenty-five years and graduates who have received an academic degree or diploma in the year of preceding the competition,、uh, it's it's like a. Place where you can find the rising star. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So who will become the new rising star in the adult adult competitions? Right. So I guess a lot of professional teams are keeping an eye on these、uh, events taking place at the university. Yep. Yep.、Uh-huh. Yep. And Russia always had been the strongest country throughout the year. So、uh-huh. they won the university in twenty eleven, twenty thirteen, twenty fifteen, twenty seventeen, and this year Russia、mm. is holding the event. Ah.、Uh-huh. Oh, so hence、uh, Krasnorex. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> I'm not pronouncing that right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it, yeah. It's it's a Russian name,、uh, but still, it's held in Russia. So、mm-hmm. Russia is aiming to you know redeem the first place for five straight times for the university. But the thing is, before the Russia、uh, four streak winning,、mm-hmm. we had China who took the first place in twenty two thousand nine, and before that. Two thousand seven, we had Korea、oh, who took the first place in two thousand seven. So yeah, we won some gold medals、mm-hmm. in short trek and new disciplines like long trek or snowboard or ski、uh, is coming up soon.、Okay. So let's find out who will win the first place. Okay,、uh, and a quick. Yes, yes, yes. I just wondered, oh, how many countries will be taking part in this university? Oh, this is important. So, Olympic Games. When we talk about Olympic Games, we always have more than a hundred countries. Uh huh. Right. But right. for university, at only fifty countries are participating, and we have three thousand and fifty athletes who will、mm. compete each other、mm-hmm. to win the gold medal.、Mm-hmm. But as I said, sports is a fair game.、Mm-hmm. It's not about winning or losing. It's about passion. Right. It's about giving everything to achieve something you want.、Uh-huh. It could be a medal. It could be a money. Or it could be <laughs> just physical, like achievement. Right. Right. So if you're listening right now, you know, just open the door and look outside and think as okay. I'm gonna run tonight. No, or no. Or I'm gonna run run tomorrow morning. No, that's a hell. Start off today. Start off today. Right now, <laughs> people. Good morning, Seoul. It's time to sport. <laughs> you should just ignore Jimmy's advice. Okay, thank you, Jimmy, for the coverage today. Thank you for having me here. Thank you very much. Okay, that does it for today. Hope you enjoyed it. Before we go, a quick thank you to our listeners and staff: producer Cha Junmi, writers Yoon Sun and Yoon Se Young, and engineers Ye Jung Hwan and Kim Young Tae. We have、uh, Park Ju Won and Chun Jae Dog's Manoush Walsh taking us out today. I'll be back here tomorrow morning at the same time, same place. Don't forget today's what matters. <laughs>